Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your monthly money and career tarot reading and it will be for April 2021 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So message for Pisces please, angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Pisces, thank you. Money and career only. April 2021. Okay, the cards. There we are. Just need to shuffle. Okay. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Pisces, April 2021, please. Money and career only, thank you. Money and career only. Thank you. That flew out. King of Wands. I'm going to pull another card for this King of Wands. Let's just pull an extra card for this King of Wands for Pisces, please. Thank you. I've got two cards here. Seven of Swords with the Ace of Cups is associated with this King of Wands, Pisces. So let's put that on the table. Message for Pisces, please. Message for Pisces. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's lovely. Blessings. Moon energy is hidden blessings. You're being watched over, guided here, Pisces. It's your energy as well. Your rule, you know, the moon is associated with Pisces. Um, very beautiful energy. This is about trusting your intuition, acting on your intuition this month. It's leading you in the right direction. It's aligning you to the right path. Okay. Message for Pisces, please. Thank you. So the angels have words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful, positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. So words of abundance, you know, we're all made up of energy. Our energy is very much connected to the law of attraction. What we put out to the universe and vocalize is what we get back. Okay. So I'm going to pull five cards, Pisces. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Pisces. Message for Pisces, thank you. April 2021, money and career only, thank you. Money and career only, thank you. I've got the devil Pisces in the challenge position. I like the devil in the challenge position. Um, two of coins is what's going for you. Obstacles to overcome, three of cups. <laughs> Love it, we've got the world, beautiful. That's the advice from spirit. And finally, oh wow, the future outcome, the empress. Oh my goodness. Six of wands. Love the energy here, Pisces. Hmm. King of wands. In one way, I, you know, in one way, this can be you, Pisces. The King of Wands, when the court card appears, is your overarching energy. It can represent the energy of you or what you need to do. Um, but it can also represent somebody in your life, male or female energy. It is a general reading. Generally, this is Leo for me as a reader. That might be significant to you. Um, but the King of Wands, if this is you, Pisces, this is taking the lead, taking your power back. 
And I definitely see that resonating in this reading. So for some of you, there is absolutely an energy of taking the lead, taking your power back, um, stepping into your power, going for something, taking action. And it's towards some kind of vision, putting some kind of vision or going for some kind of vision or goal. It could be opportunity here. He's ever the opportunist. He doesn't sit on his laurels, the King of Wands. He is constantly a person of action um, because that's how he brings success. Once you are in your power, the sky is the limit. He's a card of limitless potential because he's somebody who completely conducts and is aware of his own power to bring success in his life. So this is you, Pisces, in some ways, taking the lead, taking control, um, going for something. But it can also represent a leader, somebody in business, very charismatic, full of energy and drive, um, a great visionary, very gregarious, somebody who is, like I said, very has a lot of charisma. Um, you might be meeting somebody like that, male or female energy as well. So as it resonates for you, because you're not happy with your current situation and you want to do something about it. And there is definitely some kind of secret plan that you're putting into action to get some kind of goal opportunity, something that you really want to happen. The Ace of Cups is it can be something that is going to bring you happiness. It is the cup of joy. It's feeling happy. It can manifest itself in terms of an opportunity. Now, if I was being very specific, it can be to do with creative opportunities, creative industries. So writing, publishing, um, arts, uh, journalism, Blo you know, blogging can represent social, you know, you know, technology as well. So, you know, blogging, social media, um, it's expressive industries, you know, so that might resonate for some of you. It's not limited to that. I, the, the, the Ace of Cups is the new beginning that allows some kind of emotional rebirth, the finding of happiness, because it feels like you're not happy where you are. And you're putting a secret plan into action, acting strategically towards this Ace of Cups. Now, yes, this King of Wands can be offering you this Ace of Cups. Um, something that an opportunity maybe that brings you joy, happiness, a new door opening for you. Um, again, this can also be you, you know, you taking the lead towards some kind of opportunity. Okay. But a very nice energy all the same. So there is covertness going on here. And why do we act strategically and keep things to ourselves? Well, it is because, you know, if there is a current situation that you're not dealing with, either a current boss or a current business, that you don't feel is healthy for you anymore, that, you know, this can represent power struggles, manipulation. The devil is something that we give power to where we feel powerless against. And certainly with this energy, this is about taking your power back because it feels like you're done with this devil. It feels like you're ready to release from whatever this devil is. A uh, devil can represent instability, breaking free of an attachment. You know, it can be this kind of energy of something unhealthy, shadow energy, restriction as well could be some kind of you know somebody who is making you feel restricted in some way or something or you know an, an organization i feel for some of you that you're just not happy where you are and you want to do something about it two of coins can be um about prioritizing adapting you know it might well be for some of you that you're trying to manage your time and deal with things. I mean, that if it, what's going for you, it definitely feels that there's a, there's a feeling of being overwhelmed here, Pisces, in one sense. You might have a lot on your plate. It can be a feeling of being a little bit overwhelmed. But the message with the, the two of coins is prioritise, 
um, manage your time wisely and this is well within your capability to deal with but I definitely feel that you know as this person juggles those coins are almost kind of like representing this is where I am and this is where I want to be you know and it's how you adapt to moving forward It's interesting that I'm feeling the energy. You might also be um, given a hefty, you know, a lot to do in the work. You know, again, there may well be, you're not getting the financial reward for the, for the work that you do, and therefore you wanna do something about it. You know, you wanna go towards a, a new opportunity. Um, so it definitely feels for some of you that you're, it might well be in in a way reevaluating your priorities in some respects and understanding how you can adapt to move forward towards some new kind of opportunity. Because again, maybe that you're juggling money. It, it might not be that you don't feel that you're paid enough for what you're worth. That kind of energy. The three of cups, the obstacle to overcome, is reaping the harvest. Yeah, celebration, joy, happiness. So. Yeah, it definitely feels for some of you, Pisces, that you might have taken steps towards putting some kind of plan into action. And it's almost kind of like with this Three of Cups. You want to yeah, there's definitely an energy here. The winter's over, the spring is here. And there's this, this is why sometimes you see them with all the bountiful harvest around their feet because they're finally, what they've been putting work towards, what they've been getting, you know, putting their effort into is finally beginning to pay rewards. They're finally getting the reward for their effort. They're finally beginning to reap the bounty of their rewards. It feels for some of you that you're just waiting to reap the rewards of your effort. You've been adapting, trying to maybe adapt, maybe go for some kind of opportunity while doing your job at the same time. I feel, I'm feeling this two thing. It's almost kind of like two things. You're trying to bring expansion, growth, success into your life. Um, but it feels in this situation that you're almost trying to also deal with the day-to-day -day job, the one that you know, you're not particularly happy with. So there's definitely an energy of celebration, joy is coming, but it might well be for some of you that there's just something else that needs to happen before you finally reap the reward of your effort. Um, because the message is that something will end here. There is completion. You will step into a new phase of your life. So even though if it's not happening quickly enough or, you know, there's a little bit more on your plate that needs to be done here, the, the world card is a card of victory, success, accomplishment, celebration, joy, celebration. Um, so the celebration is here. The, the spirit is telling you celebration is coming, even though it's not quite there yet. Celebration is coming. Um, this is a card of achievement and, and victory, stepping into a new phase of your life. So the victory, the celebration, the success, worldly success is coming your way. This is goal achievement as well. So definitely this energy here, Pisces, of the winter is over, the spring is here, it's coming. Uh, just keep on doing what you're doing, even though this feels overwhelming, it's well within your capability to deal with, and that's what Spirit is telling you. Because the Empress is, in essence, that kind of new beginning energy. She is the birth of something new, new abundance. And it is, she is an energy of the three, which is the three in major arcana, which is creation. The beginnings of something being created, manifesting something new. Uh, she's very good in terms of money, career, finances. She's Venus in Taurus. So feeling the bounty, planting new seeds for growth, um, the birth of something new. So that could be new jobs. Um, 
new opportunities, that kind of energy. But she's something where you lack for nothing. She's a bountiful energy. So where you may have felt some instability here or, uh, again, power struggle, manipulation. Um, unhealthy environment, unhealthy relationship. Call it what you will in the workplace. The Empress is saying the new is coming your way. You are creating something new. There's definitely an energy of just keep on doing what you're doing. Um, even though you don't feel like there's growth here, even like you feel like you're treading water, you're not. You're actually making a difference. Just keep on prioritizing. Because for some of you, the new is appearing. Um, and it's in the form of she is a card of abundance. And the six of wands is the card of success. It's a significant achievement. The Six of Wands is a card of victory. And it's interesting, we have the victory wreath here. We also have the victory wreath, you know, with the circle here. So I'm definitely getting this energy of there's a significant achievement, a significant victory happening for you. And remember the Six of Wands is somebody who has overcome a challenge and has discovered their own power, their potential, what they're capable of by overcoming that challenge or obstacle. So, and claimed a significant achievement. And again, this can be about public recognition. So either this is you taking your power back, Pisces, and claiming some kind of new opportunity, secretly going for some kind of opportunity and being offered it. There could be some leader as well that is offering you an opportunity. But the King of Wands definitely is somebody who stands in their power. They don't give power to the illusion of the devil. They own their power. And that is the difference. And claim that Ace of Wands, the happy opportunity, uh, the happy cup of joy, the new door opening that is the Empress, the beginnings of abundance and not feeling lack anymore, but feeling really fulfilled or the beginnings of being fulfilled. You know, definitely an energy of maybe you're getting noticed, recognized, giving some level of significant achievement. And it's it could be some goal achievement here, you know, where you're ready to draw a line under whatever this devil represents and break through, step into a new phase of your life, maybe new job opportunities, new business ventures, call it what you will. It feels more recognition here. It feels, it feels that you're being recognized, noticed this month, and there's some significant opportunity or significant victory coming your way, significant achievement. Okay, so final message for Pisces, please. Final message for Pisces. Yeah, you see, I'm definitely getting that with the world energy. The horse, free spirit, you're freeing yourself from the restrictive energy of this, the devil. You're breaking free. You're breaking free. You are. Um, give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. Again, creative industries may well resonate for you this month again tv media entertainment i mean i've already kind of gone through a number of these industries but it might well be for some of you that there is some but it's also an energy of you expressing who you truly are and being renewed fulfilled you know on every level finding happiness again with this it feels like some kind of new company now the empress can be a person as well there could be a female, a significant female in business. You know, normally I will say the Empress, uh, normally I'll say the court cards, male or female, but with the Empress, I would de generally, unless I feel it differently, generally say she is a powerful female in business. So some of you might be meeting a powerful, significant female in business who is bringing in significant achievement um, where you're getting noticed. So again, that can resonate for you as well. Exciting. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Pisces, and I will see you next time. Thank you.